Hey, what's up guys? This is Foryamigan back with another Minecraft Dungeons video. In today's guide, I will show you my best possible AFK XP farm, which is available at this point, guys. Only a couple days ago, the Jungle Awakens DLC got released and we got another difficulty level, which is Apocalypse Level 7. And this guide works for both Level 6 and Level 7. So on the hardest difficulties, you will be able to AFK farm for your XP and you will have a lot of enchantment points in no time. Be noted that this is not a unique or emerald farm, so if you are looking for something like that, definitely make sure to check out the end of this video, where I show my unique emerald speedrun guide for the lower temple, guys. And this one is super efficient, but today I'm going to show you the best possible XP farm, so let's get right to it. Oh, and by the way, guys, before we get started, currently only like 5% of the people that are watching my videos is subscribed to the channel. If you like Minecraft dungeon content and enjoying my videos, definitely make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe for more. A lot more content is coming your way and this also helps me out a lot. So guys, I appreciate it very much. Thanks a lot for that. All right, so first off, guys, we're gonna need to get our hands on a set of items. And these items are very important in order to make this AFK farm work. If you miss any one of them or have something on a too low level, then it will be very inefficient or not work at all. So definitely make sure to get your hands on every single one of them. Uh, first off, we have our artifacts. Uh, the harvester, when used, the harvester releases souls in an explosion. And this will deal a lot of artifact damage to all the mobs around you. It will definitely kill every single one of them, except for the ones that are a little bit more tanky. The cooldown is very low, but that is not very really important. Then we also have plus one soul gathering um, so we are actually focusing on some kind of soul build with a lot of sustainability and damage that will just allow us to be afk and at the same time farm a lot of experience the second artifact guys is the soul healer this one will heal ourselves uh, when we get into trouble it will also gather some extra souls so this is very nice in order to have some extra survivability then, because we are playing on Apocalypse level 7 and 6, um, we also have this Totem of Regeneration, which will constantly heal us in the background as well. Um, and also for this one, the higher the level is, the more it will heal. You don't have to worry about uh, the cooldown. It has a 25 seconds cooldown, but we can actually keep spamming this one if we get on low HP. And this actually brings us to our armor. So what you're going to search for is a item that has some extra damage reduction as well as a chance to negate hits. You don't exactly need this, but uh, look at this roll, guys. A 105 common reinforced male armor uh, with the perfect enchantments that we're going to need. Um, the enchantment which I was talking about right there is the final shout. Whenever you get on low HP, whenever you drop below 25%, all of your artifacts are used ignoring the cooldown period. If you crank this up to tier 3, this will be up to every 8th second. So um, the cooldown on the Totem of Regeneration doesn't really matter. As long as you're getting below 25%, you will pop every single artifact you have equipped. So this is a really nice item. So the final shout, guys, is the first enchantment that you're gonna look after, but then there are two more enchantments that you're gonna need. The first one is Chilling, and this will just slow down all the mobs that are walking towards you up to 60 percent on the level three so uh, the attacks will be slower the movement speed will be slower so you will be able to have enough time to kill the mobs around you and how are we going to kill them well that is very simple we're simply going to use the burning so this will deal a lot of damage to all the mobs that are around you for every half a second uh, on this level with this enchantment it can deal 311 damage every half a second but uh, the armor piece that i found which is really nice um will deal even more damage look at this guys 428 damage so if you find something like this the hero's armor um, minus 35 percent damage reduction mobs target you more this one is actually not fantastic to have but it will give me a lot of hp so um, the survivability is real but if you have something like this reinforced meal then it will work very well as well and then, last but not least, we also want to get our hands on some weapons with soul gathering and also a particular enchantment. These are actually very easy to get your hands on. You can just buy them off the vendor, off the blacksmith, or find them in a level. All you're going to have to focus on is an enchantment called the Anima Conduit. 
each so you absorb grants a small amount of HP. This is insane guys. So uh, this one actually gives you plus one soul gathering as well. But on tier three, this will heal you for 6% of your HP, which is madness. Uh, you can get some other enchantments on this one as well, but they will actually not be very useful since we will simply not attack with our weapon. I also find a soul knife right here, a common one with anima conduit. So this is also something that you could focus on. And since we're stacking soul gathering guys, you can actually get your hands on a ranged weapon as well. For example, my 113 unique friend, the Void Caller right here, also has plus one soul gathering. So if you stack all these things guys, you can get five or even more plus soul gathering. So now you're probably wondering what is the most efficient place to farm for all these items. Well, that is an interesting question, guys. There are some levels that are really nice to farm for these items. For example, you have the secret mission, the cow level. This one drops the harvester as well as the redstone mines. You can also get it right there. But then for the other artifacts, you're going to go to either soggy cave or Soggy Swamp. And Soggy Swamp is actually the best bet because this one has both the Totem of Regeneration, the Soul Healer, and then also the Harvester. And what is really nice is that you can even find a Soul Knife right there. So uh, this pretty much contains the full package, guys, uh, for this farming build. Of course, there is not really nice armor dropping right here. We have the evocation rope and the mystery armor. But if you have some emeralds, if you have saved some emeralds, you can simply visit the blacksmith and buy some gear. And this will probably very quickly drop you something that you could use. And guys, you won't believe it, but I just found another interesting item for this build, which you can use the soul crossbow plus one soul gathering, but then another anima conduit. So if I equip this one as well as a weapon with anima conduit, I will actually heal for 12% of my max HP uh, per soul. So that is insane. So for the armor, the reinforced mill right here is perfectly fine. And if you want to get your hands on it yourself, or maybe even a green one or a unique one, then you should go to the lower temple because this one drops the reinforced mill. And as I said in the beginning of my video, this is actually an insane farm for uniques and emeralds. So definitely check that place out if you want to uh, get your hands on that piece of armor. Okay, so let's check out how this works, guys. First off, you're gonna travel to the redstone mines. If you get the right gear, you will be able to do it on Apocalypse level seven, but right now I'm just going to showcase it on level six, so it will be just a little bit easier for me to explain. And since there is such a small experience difference between level six and seven, I recommend you to stay on level six as well, because you won't be able to die right here. This is the safest place to AFK farm for your experience. Yeah. Okay, so inside the cave, we are going to speed run to a place where we will be able to find some spawners. And these spawners are essential. Um, you're going to search for at least two or three of them. They should be on a flat surface as well. And wow, we just found the ultimate spot right here. That was pretty surprising. I didn't expect to pop up that quickly. So uh, I'm just going to clear these mobs and then we are going to equip our AFK farming gear. Um, the mobs will keep coming but um, our first gear will already protect us from dying so um, right now we're gonna equip the harvester and also the soul healer and the totem of regeneration look at that guys the mobs are simply dying right here um, let's deal with the skeleton as well but um, last but not least we also need our soul scythe and uh, right now the build is complete so if we are just walking towards them then um, they will simply kill themselves which is really awesome and when we drop to low hp this will trigger all the artifacts like you saw right there. Uh, the harvester will make the explosion, the soul healer will heal us a little bit more instantly, so this is like a small potion, and then also the totem of regeneration um, will heal us over time. And guys, very important, when you use the totem of regeneration, you can see where your spawners shouldn't be because in this area, this is also the explosion radius of the harvester. Look at that. So if the spawners are standing right inside of that, then they will uh, be destroyed over time. So definitely make sure you stand right in the middle of the spawners, but at the same time, don't stand too close because otherwise this will simply destroy the spawners. So I'm going to stand right here. One of the spawners will just be destroyed, uh, unfortunately, but uh, look at that. 
So as you can see, all the zombies are spawning in at the same time. We are getting dealt a lot of damage, but you don't have to worry about that. Look at this. The Harvester is doing its work. It's dealing a lot of damage with these explosions of all the souls it's gathering. And at the same time, the Totem of Regeneration is keeping us alive. And the Soul Healer also heals us quite a lot, just like a potion would do. And um, as you can see on the bar right here, uh, our souls are getting stacked to the maximum, which is pretty insane. So the healing of the Soul Healer as well as the Harvester's damage will always be on the maximum as well. These explosions are ridiculous so um, you can just go afk right now you can have a dinner you can go to bed you can even go on a vacation i don't pay you for your electricity so you can do whatever you want guys but uh, this is definitely the most efficient way in order to afk xp farm at this point so i recommend you guys to search for a flat surface with about three or four spawners this works very well and also have the spawners uh, a little bit away from each other because otherwise if they stand too close to each other they will simply block the paths of the zombies and they will not be able to reach you so then the farm will be less efficient so guys that's everything you need to know in order to get this farm started for yourself as well. Uh, farming on Apocalypse level 6 is extremely easy and on level 7 it is also doable. But I recommend you to just stay on level 6 because if you die that would be a shame. And in my opinion on level 6 it's quite impossible to die. I've been doing this for hours right now and it works very well. So um, if you like this video definitely make sure you hit that like button. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Uh, if you are uh, not yet subscribed to the channel also make sure you do because a lot more content is coming your way. Uh, last but not least, if you want to check out that unique farm with a lot of emeralds, this one will be at the end of the video, so wait until that. Right now, it is 4am out. I'll see you in the next one.